some beauty tools. We can glamish up. We're making beauty rules. Wake up to make ourselves. If you like what we do, subscribe and ring the bell. Black fam, it's me and you. Hi, welcome to my glam studio. In case you don't know me, my name is Jancy Payton. Well, today I wanted to talk about Maybelline products and I'm basically going to do a full face of Maybelline products. Some I'm actually going to compare side by side, like some of their newer products versus their older products. For instance, on one side of my face, I'm going to be using this Fit Me foundation, which has been around for quite some time now. And then I'm going to go in with this Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation, which now has hyaluronic acid and some collagen, some pretty good stuff. But I want to compare the two and see which one will hold up better, or which one covers better, and so on. These two mascaras. Now, you know I'm all about lashes. If you've seen my previous videos, you know that I'm all about lashes. So this one is the new mascara that recently came out now they have tons of mascara but i chose this one because i used to use this back in the day and when i say back in the day i'm talking about like i was about maybe 17 18 years old this was my go-to mascara i want to know if it's still if it's as good as i thought it was the next thing i wanted to compare is these primers there's this primer called master prime and then this one is baby skin instant pore eraser so I'm curious to know which one works better. So anyway, um, and that's it. Everything else is, it's it's been around like the Fit Me Blush, the Master Chrome by Face Studio. This is a highlighter. Um, the City Bronzer by Maybelline. So these products I'm going to just try out. Then they have this little mini palette that I wanted to try. It's called the City Mini Palette. And um, I just thought it fit me. Oh, it broke. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see if I could put this back together for the sake of today's use. Oh, oh this thing is falling apart. Mental note. Now we know we got to be very careful with how we uh, handle these little mini palettes. Anyhow, I figured this would be perfect to create a look for what I'm wearing today. This little er uh, tiger print <laughs> shirt. All right, let's get into the video. Enough talking crap. All right, so we're going to start with the primers. This one is gonna go on the right side this one is going to go on the left side. And when I mean by the left side, I mean it like on this side of my nose and this under area. Because I think that that's usually where I put the pore minimizer. It's, it's the only area that I have large pores. Everywhere else is like, you know, pretty tight. So this is kind of like a clear gel. I'm a little nervous about that. Last time, last, last primer that I used that was like a clear gel ended up like, peeling almost like rubbery like it would just create these little balls it was weird so i'm a little nervous oh but this is a different consistency this is like wow okay oh this feels very oily like it's making me very nervous like i almost feel like my foundation is gonna slip and slide everywhere with this all right let's try this other one this is gonna go on my right side. This too is a clear gel. And it's gonna go on this side of my face. And this feels almost the same, like very oily or greasy. I don't know how this is a pore minimizer. I really, really don't. It's not shrinking my pores. It's not like hiding my pores. I don't know how, but let's see. After applying the foundation, let's see. Maybe we need time for it to like sink in the skin. I'm gonna leave this on this side and then 
the baby skin on this side of the table so I'll know which ones I use for what side. All right, now the baby skin, let's go into that. It says pores look reduced, skin looks smoother. Now, this is what it promises. Instantly blurs the look of pores without clogging them. Transparent gel formula smooths on clear, smooths and refines skin's appearance, non-comedogenic and fragrance-free. That's what sold me was the non-comedogenic because that just means that it won't clog pores. And then this one promises visually blurs imperfections and reduces appearance of pores, primes for smoother looking, even skin, lightweight, non-oily formula does not clog pores. Non-oily formula, but it feels like it. It feels very, very like greasy, like, I don't know. We'll see. Now we're going to go in with the concealers. I have two concealers, one that's called Super Stay, and then there's this one that's called Instant Age Rewind Eraser. It's called Multi-Use Concealer, and I'm interested in finding out which one works better. Anyhow, we're going to go ahead and use this one on this side, and we're going to use Super Stay on the right side. So we're going to try to do old stuff on this side, new stuff on the right hand side. My right. <laughs> Anyhow. All right. So let's get started with concealing the under eye area. Here we go. thousand years later <laughs> I feel like Well there we go Finally we get something out Kind of like that little sponge thing so with the concealer, what I normally do, I use my finger because it, like, the warmth of my fingers melts the uh, concealer in there. So that's pretty much what I'm doing. And I don't rub, I tap it. So this is important, particularly for mature skin. When you start to have fine lines and wrinkles, you don't want to be putting concealer like it's painting your face with it. You don't want to do that. <laughs> Believe me, it starts to creep up into your creases and so on. Oh, no, this side. On this side, I'm going to go in with the super stay. Now I'm using the very same concealer that I have on my fingers. I'm using them on my eyelids because I didn't get a shadow primer um, with all these Maybelline products. I didn't see a shadow primer at my local drugstore, which is Walmart. Um, so I'm just going to go in with the concealer itself. Oh, I used it on the wrong side. <laughs> Oh well. I don't see much of a difference in either. Maybe I do actually. I think I'm liking this side better. Now we're going to go in with the foundation and I'm going to go with the new Dream Radiant liquid foundation on this side and the Fit Me New Look Dewy Plus Smooth on this side. All right, we're going to start with the new one. I'm just going to pump some on my hand. And we're going to go in with the little Juno sponge. You can find these in Target.
All right, now we're gonna do this side. We're gonna use Fit Me. And this is in the shade 118 Light Beige. And this one was actually the shade 10 Porcelain Ivory. It's kind of weird because this one had very selected shades. Like this one had just a few shades available, but this one had all sorts of colors. So we're going to go in on this side with this color and I just hope Oh, this is not a pump. This is a a messy one. Let's just see. All right. I feel about this but I'm gonna let it dry out and dissolve into my skin all right so um, next step is gonna be eyebrows and I have the Maybelline tattoo studio brown pomade brow brow pomade no N in it so this is in the shade 378 ash brown and it's already looking beat up this one actually I've had for a couple of months now so this I've actually tried on already. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use this Brow Fast Sculpt Clear Transparent Brow Setter. And it just, it's called Brow Fast Sculpt, but it's almost like a setting product for the eyebrows anyway. It sets the pomade in place. Oh, I like this one. I like the way it applies. I guess I like the brush. This is very interesting. So what I like about this applicator is that it actually is not just like a, a normal thing like this. It actually, it looks like a comb. There is like, you know, similar to something like this. But look, when you turn it, you see the bristles there. They almost look like a little comb. And I really like that actually, cause it, it helps comb your brows in the same direction. Okay, so I went in and I contoured my face with the City Bronzer. It's in the shade 200 and I use this Real Technique brush called Rebel Edge Medium. And I pretty much went like this. and went in right here and right here and I even did my nose. My camera shut off right after I got done with my eyebrows so I didn't realize that and so I went on and contoured my face with the blush on and now I'm up to the highlighter part but the blush that I use is a Fit Me blush and it's in shade 25. It just says Pink Rose, isn't it? it blends pretty well um it's very natural very subtle pink it's not like a crazy color so i'm loving that actually all right so now i want to hit up the bronzing section a little more because i feel like i miss this part right here a little bit
I'm hitting this area to kind of give it a nice little shadow look to it. So I don't, you can't really see my double chin. <laughs> okay, I have a subtle double chin. All right, so now we're gonna go in with the highlighter. So again, in you know, right after I did my eyebrows, I went in with the bronzer, then with the blush. The blush I just kind of got in this area, and then now I'm gonna go in with the highlighter, and I'm going to use this Sephora Pro Featherweight Blending in the number 93, and I'm gonna go in this area right here. So the highlighter on this is very, very subtle. It doesn't give you that icy, ooh, kind of feel. At least not on camera, it's not. In person, you kind of get that a little bit. Can't really see it much on the camera. Anyhow, and then I'm gonna go in with the other, I have two of these of the Scott Barnes number 63 brush. And basically this is what I use to kind of contour my nose a little bit with the bronzer. And with the other one, I'm gonna go in with the highlighter um, and do the middle part. I mean, this highlight is not that bad. Now, I will say that the foundation is still moving around. I mean, like, <laughs> I just scratched and it took out of that, that spot, which is weird. Doing a little touch up. All right, so I apply the highlighter. Now it's time for the eyes. So now we're gonna get into the eye shadows. All right, so I'm gonna use this Scott Barnes number six, 62 brush all right so i'm gonna go in with this first shade up here i'm gonna go in up here with that color all right and then i am going to use a smaller oh found it all right so now, what I'm going to go in the next is going to be this middle color right here. And I'm gonna apply this on my crease. Right on my crease. Ooh, for a drugstore shadow palette, this is actually pretty pigmented. So now here's where I'm going to kind of work on one eye, finish it off, and then go on to the next. That way the video doesn't go on forever. All right, now I'm gonna go in with this Bella Beauty brush for the crease section. I got these brushes at like a Marshalls. It was like a pack of five or six brushes for about $6.99 or so, I can't remember. But these brushes are pretty good actually. So I'm gonna go in with in the outer corner with this dark shade of brown.
the inner corners, I'm going to use that copper looking shimmery color. So I'm using this tool that I found recently at Walmart and it's by Moda. It's called Glam Topper. And basically it's like a silicone tip and it's at an angle. I found this and I like loved it. And basically what you do is you want to spray that. The spray is going to pick up on the shadow and then you're going to so it's basically replacing your finger instead of trying to fit the finger. I mean, even though the pinky is like the smallest finger and even that just, just doesn't fit in the corner the way this little applicator does. It like fits perfectly in there. the top I'm gonna try to blend this because right now it's like hard you know you kind of want to soften up that edge kind of blend it up a little bit I'm gonna use this top cream color and I'm just going to blend the two together Do the same thing I did to the other eye. <sighs> All right, now we are going to move on to the liner. I want to get that cat eye look, especially because I have this shirt. I got to have cat eyes. So I'm going to go in with the Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. Black is the shade 110. All right, wow. So this appears to be a felt tip. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to dot where I want the liner to stop. And then I'm going to put a dot where I want the liner to kind of start slimming down. So then I'm going to connect the two dots and go from there. That's going to be my uh, method of applying a liquid liner to an amateur. <laughs>
up to make ourselves. If you like what we do, subscribe and ring the bell. Grand fam, it's me and you. Grand fam, it's me and you. Subscribe and ring the bell. Grand fam, it's me and you. Subscribe and ring the bell. Grand fam, it's me and you. Subscribe and ring the bell. Grand fam, it's me and you. Subscribe and ring the bell. Grand fam, it's me and you. Now we're gonna go in with the mascara. So, so the new one is gonna go on this side. And this is the Falsies Lash Lift. Okay, let's go ahead and curl these lashes. Alright, so now we're going to use the Great Lash Lots of Lashes Mascara on this side. And we're going to see the difference. I'm going to go ahead and curl this side. This one is this side, and this one is this side. All right, uh, it's kind of weird. I don't know which one to like more. I feel like they both, you know, delivered in terms of quality. I mean, like neither one of them clumped up. They both gave me long lashes. Let me look at them really closely before I give you my opinion because right now on camera, they both look similar. So I can't even tell you which one looks better. They both <laughs> kind of gave me the same effect. So maybe I'd give you a better answer of which one I like more on the all day wear test and see which one, if any of these flaked or wore out, I'll let you guys know. So right now what I'm gonna do is work on my lips, setting spray, and then we'll be done. Okay, so I got two of these Superstay Matte Ink lipsticks. So I got a darker one and a lighter one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline my lips with the darker one. And in the inside, I'm going to use the lighter one. All right, here we go.
Okay, so this is the finished product. I don't know. What are your thoughts? This is all Maybelline. Like all Maybelline. Like this is the... Anyhow, anyhow, um, please excuse the background. I have a house full of kids running around, going crazy. That's okay, because that is life, okay? That is the life that I've brought to this earth, okay? <laughs> anyhow, um, yeah, so everything that I used was Maybelline. I'm not sure it's crazy because I have two different foundations, like literally by Maybelline, but both different foundations they're both dewy thank god but they're both like different the two different shades that i just kind of like picked hoping that they match and i think they did in fact you can't even tell that i'm wearing two different foundations can't even tell which is crazy all right so that's that also concealer same thing i use two different concealers can't really tell it either as i look closely i will say that i'm liking this one better it's weird because i heard a few youtubers say they swear by this one they think that this is the bomb i'm trying to figure out why because right now i'm noticing that it's already collecting in my crease right here versus this one is not at all it's still there this one is collecting in my crease like i'm seeing white lines like oh, Let's see if we could do a close up. Mm. No, we're not. All right, it's kind of hot in here, and my liner is already melting. So I'm not liking the liner, actually. And that's the new one that just came out. I mean, right here is going great. In the inner corners, as you can see, it's already looking kind of smeared. And I haven't even touched my eyes yet. That's just from, I don't know if it's the heat, but it's already looking a bit smeared. I don't know, but I'm not liking it. I'm not liking the way it's looking right now. Anyhow, so I don't think the liner is going to work for me. The primers, I kind of like this side better than this one. This one, I can still see my pores a lot more. This side, not so much. And this side is the side that I use this one baby skin this is the one that i use on this side and this side is like the pores you can't really tell um the foundation is still intact so i think this is a pretty good primer actually and i, I will probably try it again however i'm gonna give it time because if later on i'm breaking out then it ain't gonna be worth it for me but for now i think it's doing a pretty good job like hiding my pores and this one not so much. I'm not seeing it. In fact, I could see my pores more, a lot more than this side. Like this side, you can't really see the pores very much. Now this side, you you can, like a lot more versus this side. I don't know. So in terms of foundation though, I could see my imperfections more on this side than I can on this side, which on this side, I use the newer foundation, the Dream Radiant Liquid one. On this side, I use the Fit Me. And I don't know, it's again, something that I'm gonna have to come back to and like revisit because I do see a lot more my freckles and all than this side. But anyhow, bottom line is that these two foundations, I'm going to have to give it time and see how they wear off because that's really going to be the tell all. The spray, it felt nice when it applied, but again, it's something that I'm going to have to wait and see how that also does. Like, hopefully I don't break out from it. Now, the lipsticks I have been using for a while, so I kind of knew how that was going to play out. And the pomade is another thing that I've been using for a while, so I kind of know that that's a pretty good pomade. The Brow Fast Sculpt clear shape tamed brows you know the liquid gel i mean right now it's held up you know and it's it doesn't feel hard or crispy or anything like that so we'll see how it wears out throughout the day because the one that i normally use is by ulta and um at least that's the one i've been using to finish it off i don't know if i'll i'd buy it again because it kind of does feel like 
crispy a little bit when I apply it. And if I do a little too much scratching, it kind of turns white. So I don't know if I'd buy that again, but I've been using it because as long as I don't do that, it's fine and it'll last all day. Like it'll keep my brows looking sharp all day. So I haven't had a problem with it with the exception of by the end of the day, if I start to itch or whatever, and it'll start flaking. It'll kind of look like dandruff almost, but in the eyebrows. So I don't know if I'd buy that again. But anyhow, the point is that this one doesn't feel hard. It doesn't feel like crispy or like that you have like hairspray. It doesn't feel that way. So I kind of like that aspect of it. I just don't know how it's going to wear off later. I don't know if by the end of the night they're going to, you know, the pomade is going to fade. I don't know. So I got to give that also a try. The shadows right now is doing great. I'm loving the shadows. I'm loving that copper color in, in the inside. I kind of like that shade for my eye color. I think it brings it out more. So like if you have light brown eyes, I think this is a really good palette and it literally has really good colors. The only thing that I don't like about it is that it's very sensitive. So any movement might break them like this one. Like I kid you not, I just bought this palette <laughs> for this video and it broke. Like in just me showing you guys, it just fell off. And look, this one is already cracking. The brown one has a crack. <sighs> I don't know. And this one, I had to literally press it back. Like that's kind of what you do. Like if you have a shadow that breaks on you a little bit, if it still salvage you. It, I mean, if it doesn't crumble to pieces, if it crumbles to pieces, it's kind of hard to put it back in the pan. And I wouldn't do that if it falls like on the floor or somewhere, you know, like unsanitary. You don't want to put it back in your shadow pan. But in this case, it fell right into the, sh the shadow pan. So I just kind of pressed it right back in there. And that's why you see it in there but right now it's looking like it could fall again and so i'm not happy about that i feel like it's it's kind of cheap in that sense and the thing is that if i wanted to take this out and put it in a z palette i couldn't because they're not in little metal pans they're literally pressed into the plastic in terms of the colors and the blending and the shade like i think the shadow palette itself is great i think the shadows worked pretty good i mean they were pretty pigmented as you can see they applied pretty well they blended pretty well but anyhow it was inexpensive it was like seven dollars i think so far maybelline has good products and i think i would i will dip into some of this stuff the mascara i'm loving them both is very difficult to really have a favorite like they both are doing really well right now like i actually really like these mascaras like i don't even know why i stopped using this one um now mind you one thing that i did realize is the one that i used to use back in the day was the waterproof version of it which is why i started losing my own lashes and over the years, I realized waterproof mascara wasn't good to wear, like to use on a daily basis or whatever. So then I kind of veered away from waterproof mascaras. And I think that's probably why I might have stopped using it. Now, this one is not waterproof. So I'm loving that. I'm loving the fact that I found another mascara, another drugstore mascara that works pretty well. Now, let's see how it wears off. Like if by the end of the night, it's flaking... I don't want it. I don't want it. I will go back to my bad gal bang, which by the way, I've been loving more ever since my video on bad gal bang versus damn girl video. After that, I realized that I'm actually liking the bad gal bang better than the damn girl. And I've been telling everybody damn girl is the one that, you know, damn girl is it. But bad gal bang has been my go-to lately. Since that video, I've actually been liking that one more. Anyhow, with all that said, let's see how this wears off and I will get back to you. But for now, I'm really digging this look. I'm really digging the way this makeup came on. Again, there's a few shortcomings, but we're going to see how at the end of the night what's worth it and what's not. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my video. And again, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to ring the bell so that you can be notified for my upcoming videos. And um, right now I don't have a set schedule because I haven't, well, I kind of got sick. I, I've had quite a few rough weeks and therefore I haven't post. Um, but I will start to, I'm looking into, you know, a set schedule and when to post and so on. But when I do, you guys will be notified of my new videos. So until then, be blessed and stay safe out there with all this going on.